hey mansi so i just wanted to try something out here to show you how i generally teach people if that helps that's great if not uh, you can give me some suggestions on how to uh, teach you or something like that so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this uh, website called as react.new it opens up a code sandbox and then this will actually help you in making a lot of things easier by creating small react application and also share it with others as well so for example this is something which i uh, started with this is a new code sandbox by using react.new and then here you see the app.js so i'll just make it a bit bigger so that you can see it the moment i press command s you can see that it automatically creates a specific instance for you so what we want to do is you want to create a button that responds to a um api call okay let's try thinking about an api first so api.github.com/users/pravinsigns let's try using this so this is an api call which gives you all the information about a particular user okay so let's go back to our code so basically in react what we will be doing is we will be using a lot of um how should i say this a lot of states and props kind of thing state changes etc so for that we will be using something called as use state so i can import it from react okay so basically at this point what i wanted to also do is i will also add our bootstrap css so that it looks good so i'll go to get bootstrap.com and then let's have the 4.6 version because it is easier to use so i'll just add this here i'll just try putting your name here mansi ap call example okay so now here what we are going to do is we are we have already added the bootstrap code right now if i save these things and refresh this page pretty much i should be able to see that a lot of things are changed now let's get this styles.css added here import styles css and here i'll make one family as so go ui and not centered okay cool so far it is good right now now what we will do is let's go back to our app this is the main file that we will be working with so here if you go ahead and change this javascript as jsr you would be able to use a lot of things for example i want a container inside the container i want a row and inside the row i want a call uh, 12 call sm 6 star 2 something like this i'm just putting because i want to like left and right so now you can see that if i reduce this one it becomes something like this and you get it right so so basically if i want first thing which i wanted to do is obviously create an input so input state or maybe username state set username how you would do this is using use state here and initially this is going to be empty so use state is a state injection for functional component and you have username as the value of the current state and then set username is used to modify the contents of username now we are going to create a component a connected control controlled component which is an input which is connected to the state for example if i use input dot form control i could get this particular thing right now i can even give a small uh padding on the top and bottom something like this and put the input inside that okay so now we have got this input but it doesn't show anything for us so let's add a placeholder enter your um username or something like this now we need a button right so instead of div i'm going to change this into form so oops sorry 
so i will just make this into form and then i'm also adding another input or uh, yeah input submit so that here uh, again i need a class name of uh, form control uh well no not form control btn btn primary okay so this will show me um, get name or something like that okay this is what i have written so far so far i believe it is clear um so what i have done right now is uh, let's add mb23 so that it gives some space and mr3 as well so in case of this in the same line it it will not be in the same line so mr3 is not needed so mb3 is fine okay so now what i'm going to do is on click as you mentioned the moment i click on this it until the response comes this needs to be disabled right so basically we should also get this input to be connected with the state so for example what i'm going to do is here i'm also going to write something like in a paragraph you have entered username oh no username something like this i have put so it doesn't show anything at this point because it is empty if i start typing something nothing happens it is not a connected component so what we should do is we should set the value to username so the moment i put this way this will become read only whatever i type nothing will work here so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create an on change function and then when anything changes i'm going to do this dot not not this dot set state in class components but what i am going to do here is set username e dot e is this particular event target will be this initial like this input dot value so this value is what is going to be set here so if i put mansi here you can see that mansi is coming here and not only that if you open the react dev tools in the app we will also be able to see that there are states hooks hook state here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it as praveen and presenter look at this here here everywhere wherever the state is being used it will be changed so now we have created a connected component or controlled component this is called as a controlled component interview question make sure you remember okay now the fun part is let's get rid of this one and we need to click on this and then it takes some time so until then it should be disabled so we need a submit handler so on submit let's create something like this const wait let me remove this one const submit handler equal to this will do an event right so whenever an a form does a submission it is going to reload the page so we should not allow that so i'm going to do event dot prevent default okay so once i do this and then if i connect this on submit handler to the submit handler and if i do a uh, window dot alert you click the submit something like this so i type something here and press enter it says you clicked submit okay or if i click on this it says you clicked the submit anyway it is going to do this but we should not run the code until someone has actually added something so if i add disabled here and then if i put username dot length is less and we need to also trim we don't want spaces as well trim sorry username dot trim dot length is less than 3 i don't think there is anything that is two characters in github okay so until this it is not going to allow you to press enter or something like that if i put enter nothing is going to happen even if i click on this nothing will happen that is because it is disabled until the three characters are created now we need to also get the you and get the username value you entered and we can put username here now if i type enter 
it says you entered as DD. So we are also able to get the username here. The moment you click on the submit, what you need to do is let's have another state which says false. And we can call this as um, Ajax or something like that. Set Ajax. So this is going to be once you set the Ajax, it is going to start working on it. Okay. So, so whenever this call is going to run, we have to disable it and Ajax. So if I type something, it is already false, right? So the moment I press enter, I'm going to do set Ajax as true. And then, so if I, so at this point, it is two characters, so it is disabled. And if I type three characters or more, it is enabled. And then if I click on this one, it gets disabled because the Ajax call is currently running. So we need to get the, send the Ajax call. So fetch. What we will do is we'll take this API part and instead of Praveen signs, I'm going to use the exact username here. So username dot then. So it will be sending us as a response stream. So the response stream has to be converted into a JSON stream. Then what we need to do is with this JSON, you need to do something okay so i'm gonna copy the response um response or um yeah let's use as a response and set resp okay set resp as json okay at this point what happens is what i'm gonna do here is inside the right i'm gonna put a pre tag let's give a couple of classes uh let's use bg light border rounded p1 something like this and m3 like how you have already how we have already given so my3 means it will take the y side of things now generally i use json.stringify to check what all things are there so here i'll try to use the resp and i give the second parameter as null and third parameter as two i'll show you what exactly this does now so it shows false at this point okay and the moment i give let's say praveen signs and press enter i'm able to get all the details here right so but this is still not correct so what we need to do is once we get the sub, uh, solution we will also do set ajax as false okay cool so now if i do something if i need to refresh it so let's type in praveen signs press enter so for that millisecond you could see that it went um it kind of like went off and then it started so that's exactly what i did here and all we need to do is if this resp is there only then you need to show the name or something from the api so resp then okay if the resp is set then let's give a paragraph saying the name is resp dot full name i guess i guess it is this is the correct thing if not please click on the say please enter a you get hub username on the left and press enter something like this okay so at this point of time it shows this way if i do praveen signs press enter the name is not right so the name is this is the name we should be using so resp dot name so if we try this oh look at this the name is praveen kumar purusha when it came this way so if i put a strong strong tab here there are some people who have not added their names as well so for that in that case if you want to handle some 
uh, error error as input or like the inputs that do not have their valid answers what i would suggest doing is we can revert back to um let's say if name is not available we can go with the login so for that one we can do something like a conditional rendering so resp dot name dot trim dot length is zero then uh you need to send something else right else let's have this one close this the user username doesn't have a name <laughs> that's funny right this username doesn't have a name okay cool um we can also use the strong here and then you can use slash strong okay let's try to see if there is any username that doesn't have a name let's try this normal praveen itself praveen also has this name praveen chakuri uh let's put hello oops not found hello has also a name um user 1 yeah name is null okay so if we try to use the user 1 as the name user 1 okay it is null in that case let's do it in a different way so we need to get this guy here because it's a null value so we need to check the null value okay so if i type user 1 it says the user user 1 doesn't have a name if i type praveen signs it is going to do this way okay cool so uh and you you could see that this was changing user 1 if i type in praveen signs it has actually changing this is a side effect so what we can do is we can a instead of doing this we will do resp username resp dot login so that way see it will not change so name is pravin chakri so what we can do is we can actually hide this the other easy way of hiding things here in uh, react is i would do false ampersand ampersand this way so that way it hides and i can give a class name here which says MY3. Um, is this MY3 correct? Oh, wait. I also need to give this class name to the other paragraph. Okay, cool. So that's what I wanted to show. I hope this was clear. Here is the complete code, and this is also completely responsive as well. And I'll send you this uh, link. I hope this way of teaching you. Uh, so uh, let's learn something cool i know that deepthi is also planning to do something on this so let's all look into this cool see ya and and whoever is interested let's do a meet up and then uh, uh, let's learn something nice and react all right have fun see you all bye to show what exactly i made right now so if i type in Uh, a github user name like user 1 or something so it gives you that minute second like slightly uh, it becomes uh, disabled and then gets enabled and then if i type my name so it gets disabled for a few seconds and then shows this right so because that is the time it takes to get the ajax call back now there is a concept called throttling so if i say slowest here and then if i type in user 1 or something like that look at this it is not clickable because this is still pending it takes a long time and then it shows this way and then this gets enabled so similarly if i'm using uh, instead of slowest let's do slow 5 seconds and then if i type in praveen signs and press enter for 5 seconds it is going to still wait wait till this pending thing is done and then you get the output then you would be getting this one so i hope this was helpful this is what i made just now and i'll show you the complete uh, way how it is done okay